The unit consists of a headquarters group and four companies, each led by a company commander and a company sergeant major. 
The parade consists of Bravo Company, whose company sergeant major is Warrant Officer Nathan Kakamo. Charlie Company, whose company sergeant major is Warrant Officer Lewis Ponton. Support Company with Warrant Officer Daniel Raisin in command and Alpha Company led by Warrant Officer Elliot Stumps. The Regimental Sergeant Major will now hand command parade over to the Unit Commander, Cadet Under Officer Alexander Smith, who will post the Cadet Officers on parade. The reviewing officer for today's parade is Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Kitchen. Staff appointments include First Command Support Unit, now First Combat Signal Regiment, Headquarters First Brigade, and as a watchkeeper at Land Headquarters during Interfet and the Sydney Olympic Games. In promotion to Major in January 2001, Colonel Kitchen fulfilled electronic warfare staff officer appointments at the then Land Headquarters and in Capability Development Group. Following attendance at Australian Command and Staff College in 2004, Lieutenant Colonel Kitchen was posted as Career Advisor, Sydney's, at the Directorate of Officer Career and Armed Management Army. His final appointment as a Major was as Officer Commanding the Logistics Support Force Signal Unit in January 2006, where he was responsible for raising 17th Signal Regiment in August of that year. On promotion to Lieutenant Colonel, he was posted to the Land Warfare Development Centre. He returned to 17th Signal Regiment as Commanding Officer in January 2011. Assuming the right of the, in the day. Did Aiden come in to watch it? No, the we were at the pub. We went out with some time. other friends. Yeah, the girls. For us to stand oh, yeah, yeah. We went out past the front of the parade ground. Uniform staff and guests to salute as the national flag passes. Where are the gloves? Okay. Gloves and hats. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're, they're, they're going to march past now. Oh, I'd better take a photo then. <laughs> James is practicing his marching and it well, didn't look right to me. If you give me that DVD back, I'll um, put this on there too. Okay. Historically, before departing to battle, goes. troops would march past their commanding officer and pound. look him in the eye so that they could see who would be leading them. Today, this is represented by the...
Once the parade has marched off the parade ground to the dispersal area, please remain in your seats until the regimental sergeant major has left the parade ground.